power of an idea can lead one to obsession. The power of an idea can lead one to redemption. I work in that building. I don't know what this is all about. I'm just a patsy. My name is Peter Fairchild. I have a wife, a house, and I once had a son. But I'm not real. I'm a fictional character, a writer's creation. I guess he thought my story was worth telling. Around the corner of Elm and Houston, squinting in the Texas sun. A hundred different vantage points, a thousand sets of eyes but just one truth. Oswald was either in the window or he wasn't. Ruby either knew Oswald or he didn't. I think that there is this human desire to bring unity and order out of a world that we perceive as chaos and, and disorder. Ben was my son's name. He was killed, and my obsession to kill the kid who did it became entangled and confused with an obsession of a quite different kind. I fell down the rabbit hole, so to speak, and into a world more mysterious and more intoxicating than anything you could imagine. I lost my son, but this nearly cost me my life. You've wasted your time and mine on this thing you do. Beginning at Zapruder 204, Kennedy said, shifts nearly 45 degrees within two frames of film. Do you know how fast that is? What always astounds me and what never changes for me is the fact that we begin every project, and I think it even applies to film, every project, dance, theater, or cinema, begins in a dark room. I discovered that. Nobody else had ever seen that. I tried being patient. Do you know how fast two frames of film is? That fast. That fast. And the whole point of what we're doing is trying to bring light to this dark room. The next time we see Kennedy, he's been hit. You can see it in his face. Why can't you see it? It proves that Oswald didn't do it alone once and for all. It proves Oswald didn't act alone. So is that what it's all about? Peter. It is, isn't it? You need a conspiracy. Unbelievable. All of you. It's sad, really. A bunch of grown men looking for ghosts with guns in bushes because they can't face the reality of their own lives. Art makes us feel connected in such a way that we do care whether we live or die. We do want to show up. We do want to be a part of something. I don't recognize you anymore, and I don't think Ben would either. I am not going to miss this opportunity for anything. Of course, you're not. When you listen to Beethoven, all of a sudden grief has form and substance, and it's that ability to bring form and substance to human emotions, human feelings that we all recognize but are not necessarily able to articulate. And that's what the arts do for me. And just when you think you've got it solved, when you can hear all the tumblers falling into place. A man stands in the sun opening an umbrella like he's protecting himself from something that doesn't even exist. Why did he do that? I have to know what happened. I have to know the connection. Why did he do it? I don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody will ever know. Bang. The door slams shut. I, uh, I don't know what this is all about. So you pour yourself a drink. You put some fresh paper in the typewriter, and like a thousand times before, you begin again, hoping that maybe, just maybe, you'll see something that you've missed. That one piece of evidence that's undeniable, incontrovertible, an arrow of truth shot straight into the heart of the lie. 
The time that passed was just an instant, really, that you go over and over and over again in your head. At the end of the day, this, the screenplay is really about enlightenment. It's really about the ability of overcoming. It's about the ability to transform your life, your thinking, and your beliefs. It could have happened that way, couldn't it? No perfect conspiracy, no complicated reality. Just a man in a window using a $12 bolt-action rifle. Making two perfect shots in less than five seconds. A little boy on a bicycle. Just doing what little boys do. I found that the hardest truth I had to face was the truth about myself. Mr. Heisenberg, why do we do this? Really? I mean, there will never be justice. It occupies the mind. And the mind must be occupied. It presents a conundrum with many elements. The mind works there. Does the mind always have to be occupied? Well, if the mind is not occupied by one thing, it might be occupied by others. One wants to be less occupied by. The Umbrella Man begins pre-production in February 2012 in Pittsburgh. The Umbrella Man of Pittsburgh story will premiere in Pittsburgh in concert with the, anniversary, the 50th anniversary of the Kennedy assassination. Thank you. <laughs>